Have you ever wondered about how to design your events? What goes in and what should stay out? How do you decide? Well, I'm Adam, a staff technologist at Confluent, and I'm gonna help you find answers to those questions. There are many ways that you can design and build events, and some are better suited for one scenario and some for others. In this course, we'll evaluate the major dimensions that you need to consider when designing your events and event streams. For example, you may choose to model an event similar to a database row, a complete picture of the current state at the time the event is produced. You may also choose to model the event as a delta, reflecting the change between one state and another. Both come with trade-offs and affect how your consumers can use them. This is just a sample of what this course covers. But if you're looking to start designing events and streams, this course is for you. Each of the dimensions we cover explore trade-offs, best practices, and the pitfalls that you may run into. Now, this subject matter is a little more advanced, so if you're new to Apache Kafka, I recommend that you first check out Kafka 101. Let's get into it. <music>